This is Louis Yurdell here with RxMuscle.com at the Chicago Pro Wings of Strength. But Thursday before the show, I'm here with Big Keith <laughs> Williams. Big Keith, man, you came here last year. And when you came in, you know, I was really impressed with how good you looked last year. And this is your comeback to this show. You think it's a lucky stage for you? Um, I hope so this year. You know, I hope the judging, they, they basically judge off of the way I've improved and changed myself. And that's all I ever expect. I don't expect anybody to give me anything. I work my ass off, so I'd expect the judges just reward me off of the changes I've made from this year to last year. What changes have you made? Do you think in your physique? Um, you know, from Orlando, I was a little disappointed because you know I chased after condition so much, and I lost some you know some size. I felt I looked a little stringy and was a little flat. And Dave Plumbo, you said it wasn't a good look for me. So as narcissistic as I am, I went back to drawing boards. I started doing legs every three days well, with my trainer Randy out in Minnesota, and so we put about you know about an inch and a half, almost two inches on my legs since then. Uh, and that was in April. So that was the biggest change. My upper body has always been my upper body, but my legs is something that I want to improve on and my pose and in my presentation. So those are the things we really focused on coming into Chicago this year uh, to bring in a little bit more wow factor. So wow factor, you said you work on your presentation. You got a really cool routine put together with some like pop and lock moves or something? <laughs> oh yeah, I got something good for uh, tomorrow night, you know, but I like entertaining the people because everybody can go up there and pose, but you know, I like Tricky and Kai and those guys who actually go out there in markets and go out there and entertain and that's what I like to do. I did it as an amateur, kind of got away from it when I went to a pro level, but now I'm going to go back to it. I did it in New York uh, a couple of years ago, so I'm going to go back to that this year. I saw you in Emerald Cup <laughs> up there posing. They, they introduced you to Sean Roden when you came out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they introduced me to Sean Roden. He got hurt his foot, so I had to go out there and, and be a fill-in for him. But, you know, I, again, I like to entertain the crowd, so that's what I did. The promoters liked it. The people liked it, so it was a good time. So you say you put two inches in your quads, yeah, and you train every three days. Now it just wasn't the training every three days that did it. Yeah. What, what what was it about that your training to help maybe you know people out there here two inches on quads? They want to they want in on that. Well, you know it was a combination of Dave Kalick, who's my nutritionist. You know we start changing my I'm very carb sensitive person, so we just start changing my protein powders, start bringing up my uh, my carbs up a little bit more, um, and start doing some things different as far as like I would focus on one workout, I would focus on quads, and the next and, and I would do a, like quads and the next time I do a hamstrings and I flip to do the opposite so we'll focus on one body part versus the other and just did less. I, uh, Phil Hernan uh, who was who won the Mr. USA I can't believe it, back like in 1980 something mm -hmm. he basically sent me a workout says try this don't do I was what I was doing was over training my legs so I would cut back on what I was doing doing uh, less volume more heavy weight uh, spending less time in the gym on my legs and that's why I was able to recover and go back every three days so that's been the biggest difference on uh, what I've done with my my legs and again my my diet and nutrition we start for this show we start carving up a little bit sooner so we start carving up today versus waiting back uh waiting until thursday and so everything's been going accordingly so uh we just got through posing a little bit ago, a little while ago right now i think I'm about 255 256 so i'm in cap you know my trainer and those guys are happy with my condition so you know i can't wait for saturday to get here yeah i, I can't bet you can't wait you have, <laughs> you, have any, you have anything you want to say to me people out there some shout outs you want to give maybe sponsors or whatever whatnot yeah well like to uh, thank uh, Muscle Thug, who always gears me up, Matt Evans out in California, um, Minnesota Muscle, who uh, Randy Shar, who couldn't be here, who's the guy who formulated this great leg workout for me to, you know, improve my legs, uh, my trainer, you know, Dave Kalick, uh, who does my diet, also my buddy Ben, who uh, oversees everything in Minnesota, because as much as I tr like to go out to California, I live in Minnesota, can't travel that much now that I have a family, new daughter, um, but I'd love, really like to give a, a special thanks to my wife and my daughter and my son because they're the ones who have to tolerate my moodiness and ups and downs and highs and lows. Are you a moody guy? <laughs> Sometimes. Like when I get closer to the show, yeah, I'm a little bit moody. But, uh, you know, they deal with it. And I got a, little, a five month old daughter now. So, you know, it's a little different, you know, because in the middle of the night, you don't get much sleep, you know. So, but my wife gets up, takes care of the baby. So I got to give her all the, the props in the world for uh, doing that for me just so I can get some rest and do what I got to do. All right. You heard it right here. Big Keith Williams. Big things going on in Chicago? I think so for Mr. Williams. How will you know? You can turn into the live play-by-play -play Saturday noon Central Time on rxmuscle.com.